Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with Do It Basil 2 and After Effects. Let's get started. So, vectors from freepic.com, I will add the download link and project files. Let's select this background and lock layer. Select this glass, eyebrow, eyes, ear, and mods, nose, and head. Let's see. Okay, and let's select these hairs, hair 1 and hair 2. Let's see again. Okay, right mouse, precoms, add the name here. Click OK. Then click this icon, take snapshot, and open this here. Right mouse, new and null object. Select these all layers, pair onto this null. And select this null, press S, change scale, move to here. Let's change 300 and let's delete this null, select this icon, region of interest, let's select this here region and go to composition, select crop comp to region of interest. Then for quality render, select this all layers and click this icon, then back to character and press S, change scale, 30 and move to here. Okay, and click this icon for see before version. Okay, change scale 35. Let's see. Okay, 33. Let's see again. Okay, nice. So go to solo, select the hit, go to solo, and select this anchor point palm behind icon and move to here. Then click selection tool and on solo. Okay, so let's select this hand left, go to solo and select this icon for add puppet pins. Let's add one puppet here, one here and one here. Click selection tool, change puppet engine legacy, click OK. And on solo, select this hand right, go to solo. Again, select puppet pin icon, one here, one here and one here. Click selection tool and change puppet engine legacy. Let's unsolo and select this foot one. Go to solo. Add one puppet here, one here and one here. Click selection tool and change puppet engine again legacy. Let's close and unsolo. Select this foot two. Go to solo and again add puppet one here, one here and one here. Click selection tool. Change puppet engine. Legacy. Let's close and unsolo. Okay. Select this body two. Go to solo. Move to anchor point down. Click selection tool and select this body. Go to again solo. Move to anchor point down. Click selection tool and unsolo. Then go to window, open do it bezel tool and click this icon and select this hand left. Go to FX control, select this puppet and click add bones. Okay, select this bone 3, parent to this bone 2. Select this bone 2, parent to bone 1. And select this bone 1 and pair onto this body. Then select this puppet pins, bones, click auto rig I key. Okay, let's select this controller. Let's see how to work it. Okay, nice. Then select this body, press air. Nice. So select this puppet pins, click this icon and click this icon, hide all layers. And select this hand right and go to FX control, select this puppet, click add bones. Again, parent this bones 3, 2, 2 and bones 2, parent to bones 1. Select this bones 1, parent to this body. And select this puppet pins, go to click auto rig I key. And select controller, let's see. Okay, nice. Let's close settings and select this again puppets. Click this icon for hide layers. 
then select this foot one go to fx control and click puppet then click add bones again parent parent three puppet parent puppet two and two parent one then select this puppet pins click auto rig i key let's select this controller let's see okay nice then select these puppets and click for height select this foot two go to fx control and select puppet click add bones and select this puppet pin three parent puppet pin two and select puppet pin two parent puppet pin one and select these puppets go to auto rig iq again let's select controller let's see okay nice let's close settings select these puppets and click height select this foot two and foot one hand left and hand right click this icon for height then select this pen pair onto this controller select this controller let's see nice and select this pen let's hide layer okay select this head pair onto this body select this body pair onto this body too okay let's close duik bezel window 2 and our rig is done we can make animation with these controllers first step let's select this controller press p make new position keyframe and go to 10 keyframe for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard and let's move to right this hand for right animation okay and go to 10 keyframe again move to back again go to 10 keyframe move to right again go to 10 keyframe move to left so this is random animation you can make your keyframes how to like you select these keyframes right mouse and easy is or f9 let's see okay and in this time go to here select this controller and move to up let's see nice and go to here move to up again let's see nice select this keyframes ctrl c and go to last keyframe ctrl v for loop animation again go to last keyframe select these all keyframes ctrl c and ctrl v and again ctrl v let's select work area and right mark select work area let's see nice so in this time select this this hand controller press p go to here and make new position keyframe let's go to 10 keyframe and move to left let's see select keyframes make easy let's see okay go to here make new position keyframe go to 10 keyframe and move to right okay go to here make new position keyframe again go to here move to up and move to back okay select these keyframes ctrl c and go to here make new position keyframe ctrl v let's see nice so select this body press air and in this side make rotation keyframe go to here and change rotation 3 let's see okay select keyframes make easy and go to here make new body keyframe go to five keyframes and and change rotation minus three let's see okay change minus one let's see nice go to here make new body keyframe rotation go to here and change again four and go to here again make keyframe change minus two and again make keyframe go to here change three and again make new rotation keyframe go to here 
chain zero for loop animation. Let's see. Okay, nice. Select this foot controller. Go to here and press P make new position keyframe. Go to five keyframes and move to right this foot. Make keyframes easy. Let's see. Let's select these keyframes, move to right. Okay, select this last keyframe, move to right. So go to here, make new position keyframe and go to five keyframes, move to back. Let's see. Okay, again go to here, make new position keyframe, go to five keyframes, move to right. And go to here, make new position keyframe, go to five keyframes. Select first keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V for loop animation. Let's see. Nice. So in this time, select this other foot controller. Press P, make new position keyframe, and go to five keyframes. Move to back this foot. Let's see. Select keyframes, make easy. And go to here, make new position keyframe, go to five keyframes. Select first keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And uh, let's select these keyframes, move to here. Let's see. Nice. So in this time, select this here, press R, make rotation keyframe, and go to here, change rotation like this. Select keyframes, make easy. And let's go to here, select for second, press N. Let's see. Okay, go to here. Make new hit keyframe. Go to five keyframes and change minus five. Let's see. Okay, go to here again. Make new hit keyframe. Go to five keyframes. Select first keyframe. Control C, Control V. And go to here. Select this hit. Hold Shift, press P. Make new position keyframe. Go to center. And for bones animation, move to down this head. Go to last keyframe, select first keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay. Let's select this center keyframe. Move to down. Nice. Select these three keyframes, Ctrl C and go to here, Ctrl V and go to here again, Ctrl V. Let's see. Nice. So, in this time, open hit composition and go to shape layer, select this ellipse tool and let's drop one ellipse, click selection tool, go to fill, select color, this ice color and and change scale like this. Okay. And select this ellipse. Control D. Move to right this copy. Okay. And hold Control. Click this icon. Move to anchor point center. Click selection tool. And let's select this eyes. Delete. Select this shape layer. Change name eyes. And press S. Click this icon. Make scale keyframe. Go to 3 keyframe. 1, 2, 3. Change scale 5. Go to again 3 keyframe, 1, 2, 3. Select first keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, select this ice keyframe, press R, change rotation, and move to here. Okay. So press U for C keyframe, select this keyframe, Ctrl C, and let's back to here. Okay, one ice here. Let's move to right. Okay, and next ice keyframe here. Control V. Okay, and one here. Control V. Let's see. Nice. So in this time, select this eyebrow, press P, make new position keyframe, and go to five keyframes. One, two, three, four, five. Move to up. Okay, and go to here, make new position keyframe. Go to again five keyframes. 
Select first keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and select keyframes. Make easy. Let's see. Okay, so back to here, and let's create a new null object. Add name face controller and hold alt click this icon for move to anchor point center and let's select these eyes and eyebrow glass mods nose pair onto this controller select this face controller press p and let's back to character go to here this is here the keyframes and let's see first keyframe back to here make new position keyframe and back to character let's see this hit keyframe last keyframe okay here back to here and move to down these objects let's see nice and go to here back to here make new position keyframe and let's see last keyframe okay and let's move to up these objects let's see okay and in this time make new position keyframe again go to here move to down select keyframes make easy and select these eyes press p go to here make new position keyframe and select this glass press p make new position keyframe go to here and let's Select this eyes, move to down, and this glass, move to down. Let's see. Okay, select keyframes, make easy, and go to here, make new eyes, and make new glass. Go to here, and move to up. Select this eyes, move to up. Let's see. Okay, go to here, make again new ice keyframe and make new glass keyframe. Go to here and move to down and this ice move to down. Okay, let's see here. Nice. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.